Kuna vitu vidogo tuviongelee kidogo tu hata kama ni dakika moja. Allow me to say before I sleep. So if you online tell a friend to tell a friend. It's going to be a very short video. Na ngine mtatoa ujumbe wengine sijui itakuwaje wengine hatuto kubaliana but it's also okay uh, so yeah <coughs> so um most of the time tuna we want to come out here and advise women about their relationships tunaambia mambo ya um, <coughs> sorry na kifua kidogo you know it's winter it's cold and all these things yeah so we fighting for women's rights gender based violence um, must stop but <coughs> kuna kuna kitu there, there is something most of the time people don't understand wanajua We will come out here and advocate for stop women and child abuse. Wana scare. Lakini kama wewe mtu hujahamua kusema I'm going to leave this relationship. Hata sisi tukiongea. Hata tukipiga makelele. Hata tufanye nini you will not leave. Ndio maana posti yangu I told you it starts with you. Inaanza na wewe. Wanawake mara nyingi tukipigwa unatoka <coughs> unanunuliwa kama pipi. Ni wanawake sasa zile ndio wanaume wanasema kama pi, like we, we like kids. You know? Something happens alafu mwanaume anaku ah baby unajua nakupenda sana. Wewe ndio umenifanya nifanye hivyo unajua nakupenda ile upendo wangu yani ni ukubwa sana yani you you made me do it you caused me to hamna excuse ya mwanaume kukupiga wengine tumepitia hivyo vitu ndio maana we speaking from experience mkichiona huko kwenye social media unaangalia mtu nadhani maisha yake iko poa ah tumepitia vitu vingi but <coughs> i need my spray my nose spray most of the time tunakuwa tuko ashamed we are very ashamed to come out and say oh my my, my man is beating me okay? yani it has, how how am i going how are my friends going to feel tunaanzaje kwenda kwa rafiki yetu kuambia oh nimepigwa sijui imekuwa na hivi yani wakitupigia tu eh hey, dazari titoke kidogo sijui ah najua niko busy na mambo fulani siko busy i'm nursing my wounds nishapigwa blue red yellow sijui nini siwezi kutoka You're covering for him. Your man is supposed to protect you. Your man is supposed to be the first person you run to when you need security. Sasa huyo mwanaume anatoka the same person who's supposed to protect you mwenyewe ndio anakudunda. Where are you supposed to run to? Ndio sasa zaini mna mnawadunda wanawake wenu mnakuta wametoka kidogo na watu wengine because you're not paying your woman attention. Wewe ukishampiga kuna sehemu anaenda anapewa ile peace. Sijui peace ndio nini. <coughs> Sorry na kifua kidogo but we we'll manage. I just want you to understand my point. <coughs> Sasa hapo ndio mnaletea wanawake hata kupata zile tabia zenye hawana because you guys are physically abusing these women wengine basi hawatafanya hizo tabia you know wataka lakini hata ukirudi we unajisikiaje mwanamke unamdunda leo kesho na kila siku mwanamke ndiye anakupikia mwanamke ndiye anakuzalia watoto mwanamke anakufulia mwanamke ana this person is taking care of your home so you can have a place you call home mkitoka hapo mnawadunda so That is for the for the guys part. <coughs> Wanawake tuna tabia moja. Tu I think tumeumbiwa kukuwa na ile raw soft. Wanajua. Sasa kwa hiyo ukikuwa na hiyo raw soft leo mwanaume atafanya hivi na kesho na hivyo miaka kumi mimi nimekuwa 
nimekaa almost 12 years nilikuwa naingia 12 years lakini hivyo vitu vile lakini hiyo abuse pia ikaanza kukua nikaona hapa mtu atakufa mtu atakufa oh sasa hizo pesa zote oh sijui nini no your life is your wealth i don't know how i should put it someone should help me and translate it <clears throat> your life is your health bila life then what are you going to talk about wengi hawasemi what happens they wanna talk the time they're in a coffin wako kwenye box lakini ushaingia kwenye box there is nothing you, you can't talk anymore it's done why do you wait for you to get kwa nini unasubiri kuingia box ile coffin ndio waze kusema hmm? na ayanda, na kweli nawaelewa wanawake wacha nikwambie kitu kimoja nawaelewa kuna wale mume wangu mimi nampenda sana yani sijasoma mpaka kazi naona sitopata mimi nitaenda wapi eh ah watoto watakula nini nikirudi kwetu watasema nini majirani watamcheka mamangu nimerudi hivyo vitu vyote yes i understand yani kabisa nawaelewa hmm? kabisa nawaelewa nasema nitaenda wapi mimi hapa maisha yangu nimeolewa nimefika yani kuolewa ndio umefika huna chochote huna mpango huu ya maisha yako yani we kuona umeelewa fadhali upigwe mchana na kila siku kuna kitu kimoja hamfahamu i think let me say there is something you don't understand tukikuwa kama we are raising kids in abusive relationships tuko tunaonyesha hawa watoto hivi vitu viko sawa na watoto pia wataendelea kufanya hivyo hivyo because mimi nimekuwa mama anapigwa mtoto anasema ah baba alikuwa anampiga mama sasa your son is going to be doing the same uh, the same thing na your child your girl child ataendelea kukubali hiyo maisha yani anasema tu mimi nimekuwa mama anapigwa yani mume wangu akanipiga ah baba alikuwa anampiga mama pengine ndio mapenzi ama something like that we are transferring this generation of curses onto our kids and it's going to pass on to our grandkids and it's not going to break somebody needs to stop this kwani mnaniambia kabisa hamna sehemu ya kukana mke wako kasema basi ni binadamu mwanamke ni binadamu sit down one time imekata second time umeongea lakini mwanamke wako husky third time try to involve the elders do you know why relationships used to last before zamani 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 kabisa sio hata zamani hata sasa hivi families zingine kama waarabu na waindi bado they practice that thing wanachungulia sana unaenda kumuoa mwanamke from which family is she coming from huyu the guy you want to marry which family is she coming is he coming from wakaanza kuanalyze ile anatoka kwa familia ya so and so ah hata ule nani kijana anatoka hivi na hivi wakaangalia familia unatoka what is the family lakini siku hizi relationships zetu kwa nini mnajua <coughs> my flu jamali sio covid <laughs> sorry i'm not even reading comments nataka mnisikilize tu sisome comment wala siwajibu nataka mnisikilize hii live ni yangu so you listen or you go sleep you'll find it in the morning <coughs> wakawa wanaangalia msichana anatoka wapi na ule kijana anatoka wapi how was this boy raised how was this girl raised do they have family values do they have lakini siku hizi wacha nikwambie tunakutana leo mara moja kijana anaanza ku like mara ya pili kijana yuko dm mara ya tatu siku ya tatu ushampa namba siku ya nne siku ya nne you are in his house siku ya tano ushalala siku ya saba sande ushafunga vyako vyote you inside the house that's how relationships are working now ndio maana our relationships are failing we are dating people that we don't know people are dating women like us that they don't know umekutana tu na zari and you think she's perfect she's not umekutana na fulani he's not let's go back to the basics <laughs> it's not covid muniachi <laughs> it's not covid hmm? Zamani things used to work because we used ndio maana zamani mtu akikutongoza eh hey, ushatoka na huyo kijana bado I'm studying him I'm studying him we used to use that word 
bado namwangalia kidogo na mcheki huyo 